Hello there, I'm Cassie, the theater fairy. My job is to look over all the young actors as they prepare for shows and auditions and guide them in times of trouble. For those of you just starting out, I'm also here to tell you that the road to stardom may not always be smooth, and those dreams you have could appear to be crushed. Let me tell you the story about a case I had of a young 16-year-old girl named Becky Cotinero. <laughs> Becky's story is a sad one, for the day was her birthday. She had just had her first audition and her first rejection. Let's rewind to when auditions first began a few days prior. Lights, please. I've been waiting for this all week. How about you? You bet. And I mean, it would be so great if we both got cast together. This would be my first show ever. <laughs> well, Becky, come on. None of us have been cast yet, but we know it's been your dream for three years, ever since you saw it in high school. You know, where you met me and Todd. Speaking of Todd, where is he? Oh, he's running a little late. Oh, who'd be cruel enough to split us up anyway? Alrighty, alrighty, step aside, Munchkin's talent has arrived. Who's that? That's Bernadette. She's a regular performer at this theater. And a, re a big receiver of many big roles. And a total big high. Hello there, court. Bernadette. <laughs> and you are? Hi, I'm Becky. Becky Contanero. Well, the pleasure's yours. Don't you mean the pleasure is all mine? Referring to you? <laughs> well, aren't you a little dull? I'm only saying you should be honored to meet me because I'm the most talent you'll find in this town for a very long time. I take it you're auditioning too? If you mean the show, then yes. I'm auditioning for the female lead. <laughs> well, good luck with that, sweetheart. You'll need it when going up against me. <laughs> well, uh, I guess she was sort of nice. I mean, she even wished me good luck. Well, everyone, I'd like to thank you for coming down to audition tonight. We will be making the final casting decision next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. It sounded like a dream come true for young Becky. Seeing that her birthday was next Tuesday, what better gift than to be cast in her favorite show? But as I said before, the road to stardom isn't always smooth sailing. Something our young friend would soon find out. Just gotta get to the bottom of this. Hi there. Can I help you with something? I'm here for rehearsals. And you were, um... Becky Contanaro. I auditioned last week. Becky Contanaro. Hmm, let's, let me see. Uh, ah, yes, here we go. I'm sorry, you weren't cast. This is a joke, right? 
Joke's on the birthday girl, right? Did you get a call back on Sunday? A call what? If you got a call back, uh, I could have used you for something. It's what I said earlier, right guys? We tried calling you a few minutes ago that we made it in, but your cell was off. I'm sorry. Me too. And I'm sorry you had to befriend me. I'd probably held you back anyway. That's not true. In fact, I'm sorry I fell for the whole theater thing in the first place. So there poor Becky was. Her friends made her favorite show instead of her. And it didn't help when she ran into Bernadette outside the theater, who gave her even worse news. Guess you got the lead. <laughs> Me? <laughs> but don't worry about it. You probably didn't cast because the director, he's more into money than your silly little dream. He probably saw your face and was like, she's doomed from the start. So poor little Becky ran all the way home and mourned her dreams. Who the heck are you? Name's Cassie, the theater fairy. I'm here because I think you're making a very big mistake right now. What big mistake? Auditioning for a show that was never meant to be? Having a dream that was never meant to happen? That's nonsense! I wouldn't be here if your dream for theater was nothing. And look at me now! So what, you're just gonna do your magic thing and create a role for me? Oh no! My powers don't work like that! And thanks for nothing. This is what I'm talking about. You shouldn't give up on your dream. I'd like to teach you that rejection is all a part of being an actor. Isn't it usually because the director wants to make a lot of money? See, that's where you're wrong. Let me shed some light on this subject. Lights! Where are we? This is a scene from an actual Broadway audition. Now, if you want to go professional, be prepared to see this most often. There's so many people here. I want you to pay close attention to that fellow over there. Who's he? His name is Jerry. You'll see that he has a lot in common with you. You'll learn later. Now, how about we go inside? This looks just like the audition I did. He's so good. How could I have anything in common with him? Here's where we should take our focus off Jerry and shift over to the guy in charge. Did you see that? That jerk just shunned him. I wouldn't say shunned. Take a look at the notes. The thing to know about directors is that they don't just cast on talent alone, but on the vision they have for a character in their head. Seems our friend Jerry just didn't fit that vision. Do you think that was the case with me? Perhaps, but remember, it's nothing against you. I wonder how he takes rejection. Well, let's find out. Curtains! I guess he just found out. Hmm, I suppose so. Poor guy. He must feel terrible. You see that? He's not letting one little rejection ruin him. He's going for the next opportunity. But still. But what? 
My show was my dream show. How could I just let something like that go? Remember one thing. Things worth having don't always come so easy to get. You have your whole life to do shows you desire. Just keep trying. I guess I finally understand it wasn't my time. I'll make sure to try better next time. Wonderful. I think it's time we return home. Do you mind if I just do something and wish this guy good luck first? Thanks for all you've done. And I promise I'll keep trying until I land the dream roles I want. That's the spirit. Well, my work here is done, Becky. But remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you throughout your journey as an actress. Thanks. I'll never forget you. Glad to hear it. It's a chorus line. It's a musical. We thought you'd like it. Wow, thanks. I'll be sure to watch it. We also got you this. When I saw you rush out of the theater tonight, tonight I thought, in my, I thought mind, in my mind, why would a young girl as talented as she was last week, week react like that? Week. We heard what Bernadette said. What she said was wrong. I didn't cast you only because I felt you weren't ready for the show. I hope you come down again for the next show I direct. I'd really like to work with you. We all do. P. Grossfeld. We had the director and everyone from the cast sign it since it was your birthday. And if it makes you feel any better, Bernadette was dropped. <laughs> she got a call for another show and she was during rehearsal and the director got pretty steamed. <laughs> but wait, who's gonna play? I'm gonna do it. He asked me to do it. Sorry again that you didn't get cast. Well, I'm happy to see that you get to play the role again. You really deserve it. And the next audition I go for, I'll do my best. And when the time finally comes for me to be a star, I'll be ready. I just know it. Because you have faith in me. You all do. And so ends the story of young Becky. She'll continue to follow her dreams giving it her all in each and every audition and taking all rejection and stride. And I wish the same for you. Keep following your dreams or they'll never come true. Like the great Shakespeare said, all's well that ends well. You've been a great audience. Farewell.